Hey everybody, Mark here from John 1911, and this is a, really a quick reference video for kind of in-house use in the armory, but I know there's gonna be questions about it on the internet, so, because we looked, and uh, so we're gonna do it so we have it for our people. How to insert the bolt back into a Ross 1905 rifle. Now, I'm not claiming I'm an expert on this, and I am pretty certain that this is gonna look like a giant cluster on video, because it's probably gonna give me all kinds of hell. But, you know, if you have to, you have to you know, take care of these guns or clean them or take them apart, so you have to get them back together. So, here's the, here's the big trick on the 1905 Ross. So, here's the, here's the bolt, I mean, for, for you at home, so like, you know, uh, for right-handed shooters, to give you reference. So, you have to pull the bolt out and rotate it, keep it extended. But what ends up happening is the problem is you'll keep pulling it and it'll keep collapsing on you. Now, there may be some trick that I don't know about on how to get this to go in. Uh, you know, maybe using a, a third hand or a dowel rod or uh, or something like that. Some people, I think, try to maybe ride this, uh, the extractor bar. All this ends up doing is the spring overpowers my fingers, um, unless maybe I could, maybe you could jam something back in there uh, and possibly get it in place. But the first thing you should do is if try degreasing the bolt a little bit. So if it's super slick, it's just gonna be a giant pain in the butt. So I try to hold it, if I can show this on video, I try to hold it, nah, I'm gonna screw this up. So let me turn it this way. So I'm gonna, I'm, the bolt is turned, I'm actually gonna hold it vertical and then place it into the rear of the receiver and see if I can do this on film without, you know, clustering all this up. So yeah, this is already getting to be pretty ugly. So I place it in there and so now the bolt is being held in by the receiver. So I am pulling the trigger to clear the sear and then I am pulling the bolt, pushing the bolt release. Let's see here, and I think we are, and we have to get over the, uh, now, yep, see. I did, I know, might as well just keep on rolling, we'll do it again. <clears throat> Place it into the rear of the receiver Okay, so it's holding it in place. Pull the trigger to get it over the trigger, uh, the sear. Let's see here, we have to do both. Yeah, you have to hold, you have to, that's, that's why I screwed up, so I told you it's gonna be a cluster. Gotta hold the trigger and push down the bolt release. That overrides all of it, and that gets it to seated. So, I'm gonna do this again, because <laughs> It's just gonna be nice and ugly. So to take the bolt out, push the button, and immediately it drops. So turn the bolt, lay it into the rear of the receiver, okay? Pull the trigger for the sear, push down the bolt release button at the same time. So I literally have three points of contact on this and closed. And that is how you put the bolt back into a 1905 Ross rifle. Special product note, if you like using <laughs> the synthetic modern lubricants, you know, for example, Slip 2000 is what we use. We like the Slip products. You are going to be in for a hell of a time, which is why we ended up having to make this video. So if you are having a hard time with your bolt, and you're using a super modern slicker lubricant, keep in mind you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be in a doghouse until you're able to get that thing in place. So anyway, everybody, thank you for your time. And if you like this kind of content, check out our blog page, john1911.com. That's J-O-H-N 1911.com. Have a good day.